Welcome to this edition of Coffee House Theology, where we discuss God, theology, and all things pertaining to life over cups of coffee. I'm your host, Jose Ruiz, and I am bringing you another unboxing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a avid lover of magic. I collect playing cards, and I am also a student of history and the Reformation in particular. Uh, I love reading about the Protestant Reformation, Martin Luther, uh, church history in general. So when you get the best of both worlds all wrapped up into one, I also like to support Kickstarter projects. And I supported a Kickstarter project that how those two melded those two things together cards and church history and folks uh, i just want to show you uh i will open these cards i will open this beautiful box that i got and what are you talking about jose they are the alpha and omega playing cards and i will show them to you now here they are in a beautiful gold, it's like a gold foil box. It may, it may look silver to you, but it's gold. You can see the gold right there. Alpha and Omega. It's got the Alpha and Omega Greek, right? Uh, it's got like a book or a bible and a almost looks like two a double-edged sword uh two-way sword and this is the box that got unlocked those of you who don't know uh how kickstarters operate a lot of times they uh you can unlock bonuses and uh i mean this got funded pretty fast and it's a beautiful box and i ordered and supported with six decks uh two of each so there's three different decks that come in here and uh they have and i'm so excited uh they have the early church. I don't know if you can see that. They have the early church, Alpha and Omega. Got a sword and a shepherd's staff and what appears to be a Bible. And uh, it says Alpha and Omega playing cards. Uh, it's by the Elephant Playing Cards Company. Uh, I believe they make other decks. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they are. I'm going to open these. It's never op easy to open th with the seal. I mean, this is not harder than, uh, it was easier than, than a lot of other decks. Um, but... So it's got the, uh, look at the symbols it has. It has a lot of symbols. I don't know if you can make those out. I will try to zoom in here. Uh, yeah. So a lot of beautiful symbols. I am looking at these for the, first time as you could tell i just unwrapped this deck uh the seal has the same symbol as in the center i think it's the, what the P, roman piece or whatever uh i forget what it's called in latin uh poker size highest quality it has poker size, highest quality on both sides. Uh, 
Uh, let's break the seal here. So here's the seal. And then it has Greek writing in that. I don't know if you can see that. It's in Greek. And I don't know what it says in Greek. I'll have to figure that out. Um, I use Greek in my logos Bible software. Um, so the Ace of Spades is Augustine of Hippo or Augustine tomato tomato. Uh, the king of spades is Basil Caesarea. We have Saint Monica. I don't know who she is. Clement of Alexandria. I heard of him. And then the, uh, the pips and the letters are, uh, on the court cards are straightforward. Um, nothing very different about the pips except for the borders on these uh cards and everyone has the uh the same like what's on the box uh ambrose is the ace of hearts ignatius of antioch is the king of hearts uh, we have Lucia of Syracuse, uh, Queen of Hearts. Jack of Hearts is Arrhenius of Lions. And then you have the Hearts. Please don't tell me I don't have a Ace of Clubs. Oh, here it is. They have the ace of clubs uh, near the, they have the aces near the court cards. So that threw me off for a little bit. So go with the jack of clubs is Tertullian. We have uh, Macrina, the younger. Never heard of her. I'm going to have to look her up. Uh, Gregory of, I can't even pronounce that. I'm going to have to look that up too. Uh, the Ace of Clubs is Jerome. And we have regular pips, regular cards. Uh, Jack of Diamonds is Pope Damascus. Damascus one or the first we have Perpetua the queen of diamonds we have Papias of Heropolis uh, king of diamonds I don't know who that is and then we have Gregory the Great as the ace of uh, diamonds. And then I'm assuming these are jokers and we have Constantine the great and we have emperor Diocletian. And it tells you a little bit about Augustine, Rome and Gregory the great. And this is for the, uh, aces. And then we have a double backer. That's for uh, secret purposes. These cards are, oh, they feel fantastic. I don't know where they were printed. It doesn't say. I think they're printed by the elephant playing cards, but it doesn't say U.S. 
USBC or US United States Playing Card Company, which um, does a lot of cards. Uh, let's see. Is there, it almost feels like a crushed stock. Nice fanning capability. Anyway, that's uh, the early church. And then this box is embossed in gold foil. This one is the Reformation. So this one probably has Luther and it has Luther's uh, flower, Luther's cross. Uh, Lutherans use this symbol. Um, so anyway, I wanted to show you this. I'll show you this other one. This is a Great Awakening. Um, and it has a like a cross symbol. I don't know if it's like the Templars. It has the Holy Spirit, like a dove with flame behind it. It's got uh, ships. I'm assuming when they brought the word of God across the oceans. Uh, that's the symbol It's on the other side. It's a dove and there you go. A dove and a flame. So, if you're interested, uh, look up the Alpha and Omega playing cards. I'm sure they will make more. And uh, these are just, I seen them and they were fantastic. I had to have them. Um, because I love cards and I love church history. So, best of both worlds for me. Um Thank you for watching. Uh, I encourage you to like, share, subscribe, uh, share this with the people you love and even the people you don't. Until next time, I want to remind you that love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength and your neighbor as yourself. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you and God bless. Yeah.